channel today I have this makeup look um, I am personally obsessed with the eyes I think it looks super nice uh, better than I expected when I started uh, creating this eye look and the colors are inspired by my backdrop I think that's such a pretty color I'm not sure what the name is I believe like fuchsia or something like a pinky purple shade and um, I love the glitters in the center of my lips so yeah I hope you also like the eye look and I also want to apologize for not posting a lot of full face makeup tutorials on my YouTube channel. Um, I just don't really feel well lately. I don't have a lot of inspiration and I have some personal stuff going on. So yeah, I apologize for that. Um, but from now on, I feel way more energized to film more full face videos. So, so you'll be seeing my face a little bit more on my YouTube channel. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. I hope you're going to enjoy watching. So the first thing I always do is apply some face cream and I'm currently using the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate and, um, and I have oily skin so I don't use like a day cream and a serum, I think that's a little bit too much for my skin so I'm just currently using this on its own and um, I have a few blemishes on my skin especially on this side so I am going to apply a primer and I will be using the Pores No More primer by Dr. Brand. So I'm going to apply a tiny amount on the back of my hand, like really slight amount, not sure if you can see it, only this. I'm first going to warm it up using my finger. I don't know why I'm doing this, but once someone told me you need to warm up your primer, so I'm just doing this. <laughs> and I'm going to softly dab this on my blemishes. And also on my forehead, I have a lot of blemishes. They are not super big, but just all kind of bumps. So for my foundation, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I'm currently really liking this one. Um, it makes my skin look super flawless and it doesn't make it look super dry. Um, it does on my forehead, but when I apply a serum or anything, it will look less dry. And during the day, my skin gets oily, so you won't see those dry lines anymore. So I'm using it in the number 4, and I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this on my skin. I'll be using a beauty blender, and I really need a new one. Not sure if you can see it on camera, but mine is getting holes. <laughs> But you know, beauty blenders are so freaking expensive. I do have to say I have bought the Real Techniques one and I don't think there's anything like the beauty blender. I have also used the Morphe beauty blender and the Sigma one, but there's something about the texture of the Real Beauty Blender. It's super nice and soft. I just like this one the most, so yeah. I wish they were less expensive, but yeah, it's definitely my favorite. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use um, like three pumps of the Urban Decay one. Like if I need more product, I can always um, pick up some more. So now for my concealer, I'll be using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer, my current favorite. And mine is also almost empty, unfortunately. But yeah, I really like this concealer. It is full coverage, but it blends so nice with my foundation. And I have been using this non-stop for the last couple of months. And I feel like it also goes, uh, goes a long time. Not sure if I'm saying this correctly, but... I've been using it for quite a long time and it's still not completely empty. And I'm going to use my beauty blender again to blend this in. I'm 
Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Light Medium Contour Kit and I'm going in with the yellow and pinky shade. I'm going to mix these two together on my brush and the brush that I'm going in with is the Sigma Soft Blender Concealer Brush in the number F64. It's a really nice brush. To prime my eyelids, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I am using my Morphe E20 brush to apply this. And I'm going to quickly go in with my powder, same as I used for underneath the eyes. Now I'm going in with some powder and the powder that I'm using is the MAC Medium Golden Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC Cosmetics. And I will be using my Morphe E1 brush to apply this and I'm just going to set my whole face. So I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera. I have a few videos on my YouTube channel where I show how I do them. So I feel like it's a little bit too much to show them also in this video. But yeah, I will link them down in the description bar in case you're curious. And today I will be using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Chocolate. Uh, in combination with our medium brown dip brow and some brow gel in the shade Chocolate as well. So I now finished doing my eyebrows and I think it's time for eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm going to start with this white shade which is a matte shade. And I'm going to use this for underneath the brow bones and this will also help to blend out all the other eyeshadows later on. And I'm going in with this soft pinky shade and this is a perfect shade for any transition. So I'm going to use this as my transition shade and I'm going to pick up a blending brush and just blend this back and forth. Now I'm taking this dark purple kind of shade, I'm not sure what it is called. And I'm going to use this in my outer V. I'm using a sort of blending brush which is flat. And I'm just going to press this in my outer V to make sure that the eyeshadow is packed on. And then later on I'm going to make more blending motions towards my crease. But I'm very careful with this since this is a pretty dark shade. So now to blend this out I'm going to mix a little bit of that same berry shade with a pinky shade which I used in my crease. Um, just to make it a little bit more soft and right now I'm going to use this combination to blend it out and I'm using that same blending brush that I used at the beginning to blend in that soft pinky shade and this will make it more easy since it has um, some product left on it and now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Mark eyeshadow I was really searching for a shade which was darker than the berry shade in the Morphe palette um, but this was the closest shade that I could find so I'm going to do the same thing as I did before I'm first going to press this in my outer V and then I'm taking a smaller brush which is the Morphe M506 and I'm just going to blend this around the edges so now I'm going back in with that berry shade from the Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm again I'm taking my fluffy blending brush and going to blend this around the edges Every time when I apply a dark shade, I'm going to blend this out with a shade which is dark as well, but just slightly lighter and this will just make it more easy. And now I'm going to sort of just blend this around the edges and I just keep blending until I'm satisfied. And I'm taking this soft pinky shade again with a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend this around the edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Now to create a sort of cut crease, I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm taking a super small concealer brush and I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid. And I'm just going to try to create a sort of half cut crease.
Now for at the beginning of my eyelids, I'm going in with the Peaches Makeup Kiss and Pigment and I'm going to make this wet by using my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. So I just sprayed this on my brush, which is the MAC 242 brush. And then I'm going to apply the pigment and by making it wet, it will get more intense. I do have to say that this eyeshadow was really weird. It makes the texture super weird, so I don't know what was going on. So now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Enchanted pigment, super pretty. And what I really like about the Makeup Geek pigments is that you don't need to make them wet. They are so freaking pigmented, but at the same time they're also sort of creamy. So you don't will have you won't have a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow, which is super nice. So also easy to use for on a daily base. And I'm going to use my Mac Mixing Medium Gel in combination with the RXI glitter. And this is a sort of rose gold color, super pretty. And I'm using the MAC Mixing Medium Gel to make it stick on the eyelid. So first I always dab my brush with the MAC Mixing Medium Gel slightly on the places where I want the glitter to stick. And then I'm going on top of it with my glitter. And the eye look that I made today is kind of familiar with a purple one which I did before and someone said like you're missing some glitter. And so that's why I decided to add some glitter because it really finished it all off. So now I'm going in with the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner and I'm not going to create a cat wing today. I'm only going to create a line just above my lash line. Now I'm going back in with the Beauty Mark Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm taking a super tiny brush, which I can work with super precise. And I'm going to apply this shade underneath the lower lash line. But I'm going to try to press this as close as possible to the lower lash line. Now I switch my brush into a flat definer brush. And this one is by Sigma. I have a special discount code for all Sigma products, which I will link down in the description bar. And now I'm going back in with the pinky berry shade from the Morphe 35 VI palette. And to blend it out, I'm using a Dose of Colors pencil brush, and this will just blend out that Beauty Mark eyeshadow. So now for my wall line, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Highliner Pencil, and this is the nude one. A nude one with a pinky undertone. And I'm going to apply this in my wall line, and what I really like about these pencils is that they are super pigmented, and they stay very well in place. So now for my mascara, I'm going to use the Tarte Cosmetics Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, my current favorite. And for my lashes, I'm going to use the Anytude Bossy Lashes. I have applied them off camera. Now you can see them on the eyes. They're not too dramatic. You can still see the eyeshadows very well. So to bronze my face, I'm going in with the Benefit Cheek Parade Palette. And it contains the Hula Bronzer and a light version. And I'm going to mix those two together to get the perfect combination. So I am taking my Anastasia Beverly A90 brush. And I'm going to dip my brush in this one and that one. And now for my blush, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush, which is meant for a powder, but I'm going to use it for my blush. And it's a very light shade, but I just like the color that it gives. It looks very natural. Now for my highlight, I'll be using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm going in with this shade. And I'm using my Morphe M50, no, the M510 brush. Now to line my lips, I'm going in with the NYX Lip Liner and it's in the number Nude Beige. Now on top of that, I'm going in with the Morphe Jealousy Liquid Lipstick. And for in the center of my lips, I'm going to apply the Morphe Virgin Liquid Lipstick.
So this is the end result of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!